Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Reaction Therapy. I'm Tom Stevens, your resident psychotherapist, and I'm here to break down the lyrics to some amazing music today. And that's right, we are continuing Mystery Week. All week long, we've been showing you reactions that you don't know what's coming until I pop it up on the screen, and that's what's so cool. So we'll show it in just a second. But before I do, I have to say thank you to everyone who's been a part of Reaction Therapy. This channel keeps growing, the recognition keeps happening, and it's all thanks to you. We are one big family that supports each other, and Nick and I are so grateful. We work as hard as you do, and we are wanting to put out great content for you, and this week has been one big one after another. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of Mystery Week until it's over. And who knows, maybe we'll do it again. So. Before I say the big words and get started, I want to give a shout out for this song to Tim Sauer. That's right. All the way over in France. Tim, I appreciate you left me an unbelievably kind video message and was just so gracious to me. And I appreciate every word you said. And today's video is just for you. Tim, get ready. It's coming. So without further ado... Today's mystery video is none other than Lil Peep, save that sh I'm not going to say it. Y'all know I'm not going to say that. Lil Peep, save that sh And it is time to dive in. Tim, hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. I just keep getting this vibe of all these rap songs that I'm getting lulled into things. I say it over and over. I should expect it by now, but I'm just waiting for something to boom, explode inside my ears. But I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen. So I'm going to sit back and relax. It looks like him with his girlfriend, maybe. I don't know what he's trying to save, but um, we're about to find out. Oh, this is it. Oh, I don't think I'm ready for this. I had no idea that was about to happen because that is hard. Oh, man. You know I've got to go back at this point, little peep. Oh, my goodness, you've done it. This is huge. I don't even know if I can listen to the words with how good that beat drop was. So I'm going back a little further just so I can prep for this. Here we go. Man, he's showing a whole, this is crazy, crazy good. He's showing an entire, you know, this concert atmosphere. And I, I'm assuming that's his girlfriend. I don't, I'm not sure who that is. But this high flying lifestyle, at least that she's living, which was kind of odd because at one point she was in a kitchen doing dishes and then she's laying by the pool living the high life. And and I don't know when I'm hearing him say, save that shh, that, <laughs> that it's, it's about, you know, whether, you know, she can't save him or, you know, just, just save it. Like, forget it. Like he's just giving her this lavish lifestyle and, you know, um, I, I got to hear more because I can't figure that out. I, I can take you there, but baby, you won't make it back. Growing sick of this and I don't want to make you sad. Do I make you scared? Baby, won't you take me back? Oh, take me back. So maybe she's gone. He doesn't have her anymore. 
And he's like, I can, I can give it to you. I, I can show you everything, but uh, take me back. You scared, baby, won't you take me back? Nothing like them other motherfuckers. I can make you rich. I can make you rich. Nothing like them other motherfuckers. I can make you rich. For my life, can't say that, girl. Don't tell me you can say that shit. All she wants is. I gotta see what's going on here. Hey, what you doing? Miss you. Why do you just never answer me? Are you in service? Hmm. Wow, and that's her texting, trying to text him, I'm assuming. So. I can't say that, girl. Don't tell me you can say that shit. All she want is pay back for the way I always play that shit. You ain't getting nothing that I'm saying. Don't tell me you ever. Nothing like them other motherfuckers. I can make you rich. Make you rich. I can make you this, baby. I can make you that. I can take you there, baby. Man, it's like he's saying, I can get you, I can take you there. I can give you everything, basically. But I feel like she's gone, not with him. And he's like, you know, all those other pieces of garbage people, you know? Like, I, I think he's just speaking out to her that he's, you know, he's. it's a broken relationship, I think. And he keeps trying to reach. You know, it's odd, though, that she would be texting him those messages and he's wonder if he's speaking for her. She is like a high flying person, helicopters, you know, fashion shows, being at the best places. And he's there just in the concerts going one after the other. And it's like, I, I'm trying to figure out what saving that means. And I would love to hear your take on that because I cannot figure out. I thought at first it was just him saying, you know, save that shit. Like, you know, almost said it. That uh, that it's like, just whatever. Like, I feel like he was just like, whatever, fine. You know, I, I I can give you everything, but you're just not, you're not coming back, so whatever. But then he's like, take me back. I just want to know, I just got to know. Do you want to go, baby, we can go. <laughs> you ain't getting nothing that I'm saying Don't tell me you ever Nothing like them other motherfuckers I can make you right I can make you right make Like you want to go with all these other people, fine But I got more, I can make you rich I've got everything here And I feel like he's saying Save that excuse, just whatever You want to make an excuse? You want to pretend? You want to act like you're not there? Uh, or you don't want any part of it? Fine, but whatever Go have your way. Like, I feel like that's what he's saying. Like, save that. I'm not going to listen to your excuses. I'm not going to listen to you. Okay, that's my final take. Like, I don't want to make you scared, or I make you scared, and he doesn't want to hurt her, but take me back. He keeps saying that. It's like going back and forth, but in the other breath, he's like, whatever. All those other people you're going with, that other lifestyle you're going with, just go. Whatever. I don't care. But pretty mean-like, and she's just kind of roaming around, but I feel like um, maybe she was texting him and he just didn't want to respond. He's like, whatever, you're going to go do your thing, do your thing, but I'm not going to, 
play games with you. This is crazy beat. Like this song is grade A. Like this is top of the line music here that I could listen to working out, jogging, laying around. I could listen to this anywhere. Like this is really good. That's him? Because that was her over there. Baby, we can glow. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I'm dying to know. Tim, tell me what it means. There it is. Lil Peep saved that sh Man, that was a good song. I've got to say, the song music part was unbelievably crazy. The lyrics I was trying to figure out all along, and I feel like it was this conversation back and forth where he was just like, you know, I've got all this I can offer you. Those other people, whatever. But then take me back. Like, and they go back and forth. And maybe that's a toxic relationship, you know, that goes back and forth and you keep wanting it to come back, but it's toxic, it's not good. And they play these manipulative games back and forth with text. And I know you can relate to that. That's a classic story of life. Remember I said about toxic relationships, enmeshed relationships, codependent relationships. This is not good. You want to stay somewhat separate as a couple so that you have your own life. But when you're in a toxic relationship like this, learn to have boundaries. That's what a good mental health person can do is teach you boundaries, teach you how to be able to have your own voice and teach you when it's actually turning into something toxic that's not healthy at all. Because sometimes it's not, but you never know. Tim, home run, beautiful. Loved Lil Peep. I hope y'all enjoyed this next version of Mystery Week with this reaction. Lil Peep, save that shh one more time. I had to say it. Thank you to all the Reaction Therapy fans out there, subscribers, really family. Thank you to my family members. Thank you to all the little peep fans, fans out there, fams. That's what we'll call ourselves, the fams. Um, anyway, thank you to everybody who knows little peep. Please give me your inside feedback. Tell me what you think. I cannot wait to see it. I'm going to read it. I'm going to try to comment or at least like it. I'm going to try to go through everything because I know how popular he is. And thank you for being a part of Reaction Therapy. Remember, this is not real therapy. This is just Tom, who is a therapist, giving his feedback on what these lyrics mean. But if you want real help, go to the link in my bio. Check out some of those there and see what you think. Because some of it's free and you deserve that help. Everybody does. Thank you so much for being a part of Reaction Therapy. I'm having a blast every day coming into your home. And I hope I can come into your home tomorrow. Until then... I'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy.